sometimes. Humans do get angry sometimes and people want to know, well, I thought you were a Christian. Yes, I'm a Christian, but I did get angry because I didn't like the situation, but God had to talk to me about the situation to let me know that I don't have no reason to be angry because the same grace he gave me, he's giving it to them. And we've got to learn how to execute grace because grace is what gives us stuff that we don't deserve. And honey, I want to let you know the stuff we got, we don't deserve it, but God gave it to us anyway. And I'm yes. so glad of grace and mercy this morning. Yes. And God had mercy and he had grace on the Ninevite. And because he did, they came to him. Thank now whether you. they stayed, I don't know, but I do know they got saved. You, and God Jesus. was rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the one that got them, led them to cry, was sitting over there pouting because he wanted God to do what he had condemned and said, if you don't repent, he going to kill you. And he said there waiting to see him get killed and they didn't get killed. Then he got mad. But you know something, sometimes we want to exert our opinions on people and we want it to go our way. But it's not about me. It's not about my way. It's not about me, myself, and I. And that's what Jonah had got into. I want it to be said and done according to the word that I preach. You said you would go kill them and now you done saved them all. Well, you know, I would be rejoicing. Hallelujah. Look at all these people that has come to Christ. But he couldn't because he was angry. He had a resentment against them. And it didn't just start then. It has started before because they had done something to the Hebrew people and he didn't like it. And he knew that they had done it. And he was angry with them, and he hadn't got over it, even though God was using them. How many times you know God can use us when we got stuff in our heart that yeah. we haven't got rid of? We can jump, and we can shout, we can sing hallelujah. And when you get finished, God will tell you, go and apologize to so-and-so, right. because yeah. I don't like what you said or the way you did it. Yeah. And I was listening to Joel this morning. He said, you know, sometimes you have to be bigger than the person. It takes two to fight. And so you have to be bigger than the one that's throwing the complaint. Sometimes you have to shut your mouth, even though you know you're right. Shut your mouth and walk away. He said it's better to shut your mouth than to sleep on the sofa at night. <laughs> so, I tell you, hey, God is so good, and he know how to get our attention to get us in the place that he want us to be so that he can use us in the way he want us to. Yeah. And he had got his eyes off of the gift that God had planted in him and how he had used him in such a mighty way because anger will block all of that. Resentment blocks all of that away. Yeah. He didn't see the gift that he had inside and how effective it had been. Because if he had, he would have said, praise God, look at the souls that was won today. You know, but he didn't. And then he got his eyes off of uh, the gift that God had placed the uh, gifts that God had placed down in him and the anointed, he said, it would be better for me to die. Just let me die. Because things didn't go his way. You know how we feel like, if I don't get that, I'm going to die. I <laughs> said, so, well, if it was like my grandson, he'd fall out of the floor. I want that. You're not getting it. I'm going to die. Well, go ahead and die, and I'll bury you tomorrow. I <laughs> said, <laughs> go down the line. I <laughs> said, so, but... God know how to get our attention to let us know. And he asked him in such a gentle way, why are you angry? Why are you so angry? Out of all I've done for you, I forgave you for so many things. Should not I have done the same to them? You know, when it comes to grace, we want it all for ourselves. Uh -huh. You know, hey, look, God, now you know here I am. I'm asking you because I need some money right now, and I need this, and I need that, and God come along and give it to you, but there was so-and-so need some. Look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Bye. You know, and we don't have compassion or uh, uh, grace in our hearts to look at another person and see them going through and say, I don't know how I can help you, but if there's anything I can do, I make myself available yes. to you. This is God using us to reach people. But don't get upset when he don't do it the way we want him to do it. Because God is a God of compassion. And somebody said that if we ask God to destroy all the evil in the world at midnight, do you know at 1201 there wouldn't be a soul 
people on this earth, all of us would be dead. So we got to be careful what we ask for. And we got to have compassion on those that need Christ. And if you can be a witness to someone about the goodness of Christ, it's time to do so. God has placed gifts down in us. He's given us the confidence that we don't have to lose confidence in ourselves because it's not us. It's him working through us. And it's his mercy and grace that he gives us each and every day to do the things that he had put in place for us to do. And he put the gifts down in us to do those things. Otherwise, he would never send us out. Why would you put a child in a car that's 10 years old and don't have no driver's license? God had to prepare us. He put stuff down in us. He done taught us through the things he brought us through to get us to where we are today so that we can be a blessing to somebody else. We can have compassion on somebody else. We can love somebody else even if they're not the same God, even if they're not the same denomination. We can still extend a hand of love to let them know that God loves them. I tell you, God is so awesome and he's so great and he can save who he want to and he can destroy what he won't do. But I praise God that he loved us enough to send his son to redeem us back so he could have a family. And I'm glad to be a part of this family. I don't want nothing to happen to this family. Hallelujah. So that's why I'm striving to live in the presence of God, in the perfect will of God, performing what he would have me to do rather than what people say I should do or what I feel like I ought to do. You know, sometimes we want to do this, we want to do that. I want to get here and I want to do that. Sometimes we just need to sit down and let God tell us where to go. Now, Jonah was in a good place because God spoke to him. Daughter, I want you to go to Nineveh. But then he got, look, I ain't going down there, man. That's a, that's a rough neighborhood. They done did this. They done done that. I'm going the other way. And that's the way we are. Sometimes God will tell us to do something we don't want to do. But it's not up to us. God told me, so where I send you, I will provide. So when you go in the name of the Lord and he sent you, he will make a way for you. That's why he made that fish swim by that boat so he could pick up that uh, joker that was determined to go the wrong way, bring him back the way he was supposed to be. 